Vamos a continuar. Ya estuvimos con James Franco en el programa y ahora las brujas de Oz. Nos van a recibir las brujas buenas y las brujas malas. Esta es una nota exclusiva. Mira, mira que Mila Kunis, Michelle Williams y Rachel Weisz. Ellas se encargan de interpretar a las brujas del mundo de Oz. Nota exclusiva. Muy bien, seguimos hablando de Oz el Poderoso. Así que, ¿qué tal si conversamos con las estrellas del film? Esto fue lo que nos contaron en exclusiva desde la tierra mágica de Oz. Yo me voy volando. Chao. This is my sister, Evanora. I'm here to serve you. Rachel, how are you? I'm really well. How are you? Happy to see you again. And now this is a different, different subject. Last time was for the Bourne movie and now in, with the magic of Oz. So how yeah. do you feel? I feel like I left planet Earth. I went to the Emerald City. I learned how to fly. I learned to shoot lightning bolts out of my fingers. Um, and I learned to be very, very, very bad. Towns were destroyed. <laughs> The plane second, how was it? How tricky it was? I suppose wires, mm -hmm. green screen, but... It was complicated and very fun. Sam Raimi made all the Spider-Man movies, so he has an incredible stunt coordinator mm -hmm. and um, stuntmen who, you know, made uh, Tobey Maguire fly and yeah, jump yeah, yeah. around. So I had that team of people and um, you had to put a harness on underneath your dress mm -hmm. and then middle hold in the dress for the metal things to come out and then tie the wires on there. And then you're taken up and, you know, it was like a... Um, You know, that was one thing I had to practice. Uh -huh. You dare escort that oaf in here and... I, I just saw your, your piece of custom and it's beautiful, the details, the feathers, the feathers, it like, looks gorgeous. How was wear it? Um, it was very uncomfortable <laughs> because the corset was very tight uh -huh. and uh, yeah, but it, it was, I couldn't have played the character without her, without mm. the dress. The dress was uh, 90% of my character. I just need to give him one little test. I just saw your doll, so your Barbie doll with your face. What did you do with her? No, I just saw it. I didn't touch it. <laughs> But Stuck little pins in no, my doll. Not at all. It's how do I feel about yeah. having a doll? Yeah. I haven't really processed it yet. I don't know how I feel. This will be my first time as a doll. Mm -hmm. um, I just hope no one sticks pins in me. <laughs> yeah. I'm Theodore the Good Witch. Where's your broom? You don't know much about witches, do you? How do you feel in, in Oz? I think it's great. I mean, I, I think the sprinkle of like the little things that connect the two, I think mm. is what makes it kind of fun for people. And I think that the modern um, aspect of it, of being 3D and so beautiful, I think is so special. Where am I? You're in Oz. So Emerald City is a beautiful piece of, uh, I, I know it's CGI and sometimes real. No, no, thing. no, it was real. Uh -huh. Most of Emerald City was real. Uh, from very far away, like uh -huh. the, the iconic kind of sculpture aspect of it, mm. that was CGI. But everything in Emerald City was all built. You are wicked. You're not wicked! Margaret Hamilton make an amazing job as a wicked witch. And yeah. how great for you as an actress. It's like oh, a dream I don't character. Know. I don't know if it's great or nerve wracking or if I just put my career six feet under. I think that she just did such a wonderful job with such an iconic, or created such an iconic character mm -hmm. that all I was trying to do, there's no recreating it ever, was just trying to bring a reason to why the character became the way that she became mm -hmm. and try to do it as honestly and as much rooted in, in truth as possible. There was no way I was ever going to do what she did. It's impossible. <laughs> And all the, the prosthetics and all that part, how was it? Was comfortable and comfortable? It was fine. It really wasn't that bad. And Howard, who did the prosthetics, did such a beautiful job with it. Anything that you have on for 17 hours a day is mm. going to be annoying. <laughs> Taking it off is one of the most, um, like, it hurts. It just hurts. There's nothing you can do about it. It rips your skin. Uh -huh. It's yeah. too tight glue and rip it off. Well, yeah, you, like... you take it off. It's, you glue down with Snappy G and you take it off with like a specific type of oil. And what it does is it just inflates your skin. It's almost like a burning sensation. Uh -huh. It is, I think it took two, three months for my skin to stop swelling. Wow. I'm Glinda, the Witch of the South. Michelle, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are I'm you? I'm so happy to meet you. And, thank you. And yes. congratulations for the movie. It's for you as an actor, the very first time they approach you and say, okay, we plan to do this. What do you thought? The moment I read the script, I thought I'd really like to really like to make that movie. I'd really like to play that part. I'd really like to exist in that space. I'd like to be the good witch, because I feel like a lot of the times I've played the bad witch. <laughs> Or, you know. <laughs> I've waited for you to come and set things right. So this, this book at almost uh, 113 years old, and we're still deeply mad in love of us. Why mm -hmm. do you think it's that? It's like the Bible. <laughs> um, 
I think it's like the ultimate road trip movie. Mm -hmm. And kind of sometimes your life feels like a road trip, you know? Like you're on this road and it's like a cast of characters that you meet and they all influence and affect your story and your outcome. Um, and I think that sometimes movies like that, you can't really... There's no saying, in a way, why it was so great. That movie, the original Wizard of Oz, is perfection. And I think I would actually loathe to break it down and say, oh, it was good because of this and because of this. Like, it's nice to just let something be magical. And that for whatever reason, all those actors and the director and, like, all that storytelling, it just collided and it made magic. Yes, but they don't know that. So for you on the set, working with the green screen, how was it like tough or you got like real things on set? How was it? You know, Sam, Sam went to great efforts to make sure that we felt like we weren't, you know, mm -hmm. acting alone in this sort of green bubble. But it's strange and it's hilarious and you're acting to like, they had a giant spatula, it was on a big stick. Uh -huh. And so they would bring up the spatula and then you would look at the spatula and they would carry down the spatula and your island would go dead. <laughs> so you, you know, sometimes there's just moments of like hilarity that you're like, you're acting with a spatula. Yeah.